writing mostly, to be honest. Um, I've got a textbook just out, which is good. Um, that sort of uh, sort of stamps my credibility as a real scientist. I do actually do research. Um, I've finished a book about the self, or the illusion of the self, which is going to be very controversial, will upset a lot of people, because basically I'm going to argue there is no self, or at least the self we think it is, is one which really is dependent on everyone around us. So that's going to be quite challenging. Uh, we got a few kind of research projects which have been through review. Um, yeah, I've got a bag of things that I get involved in. I'm just a kind of bit of a magpie. I like to try different things. If the idea excites me, I'll, I'll do it. Yeah, that the mind constructs reality. The reality exists. I'm not saying we're living in a kind of woo-woo fantasy land, but what you experience as your reality is entirely a product of how your mind interprets it. And how your mind interprets it is to some extent dependent on your experiences with some hard wiring, but much more than you would ever imagine. And I think that's kind of something which always blows people away because they feel that they're, you know, they have control over their mind. They feel they occupy their bodies, but actually I think there's some, you know, good grounds to question that assumption. Duplicating a human being, copying them, and putting them in the machine. Uh, yeah, teletransportation is always one of my favorites. Uh, raising children in complete isolation to see what the inherent uh, natural disposition. Basically, everything which is unethical, I just like to do.